Here's a subtle way that you might be chasing a man without you actually realizing it. Ladies, I need you to listen to me and I need you to listen to me clearly. If a man says that he's no longer interested in you, if he says he no longer has time for you, if he says anything in the realm that he no longer wants to pursue you, the only thing we're doing is not responding. This new generation of men want you to chase them so bad. Now, I'm a firm believer that this new wave of spicy sororities comes from the generation that believed in raising your daughters and enabling your sons. So there's actually two reasons why some women chase married men. So it's not unusual for some women to gravitate towards unavailable men. And I'm talking about men who are in relationships or are married or are dating. So this is actually like unconsciously motivated and basically it's rooted in self-esteem issues. Women that have lower self-esteem and insecurity chase after unavailable men because they think that if they are able to get this man's attention, that then they are worthy of love. Women aren't really supposed to be the ones chasing men. It's not a masculine, feminine thing. That's not a masculine thing for men to, to chase women. Nigga, what? Why are women not chasing you? Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. All right, guys, today we're gonna to be talking about why women are not chasing you. It seems like we have a battle whenever it comes to men. You have men out there that are bitter that they've put their heart, their mind, body, and soul into trying to treat a woman nice in order to win her over. But instead, they find the same woman that they are attracted to, that they're putting all the energy into, will chase a guy that's not even doing a quarter of the work that they're doing in order to win her over. So let's get down to the mental and the psychology of what's happening here. First, you have to understand, most guys that are going to simp and fall in love fast are going to be guys who had a rough childhood whenever it came to the parents. Not enough attention or just dysfunctionality. And then when you look at your dysfunctional family, you found yourself on the internet or watching TV of perfect families that you want to be. That's what psychologically is happening with men whenever they find themselves being mentally programmed to giving a woman their all. It's really because they spent too much time brainwashing themselves. If you leave it to the television, the television is designed to make it look like it's going to work. But television is a fantasy. It's supposed to shift your emotions. It's supposed to make you weary. It's supposed to make you glued in. You have psychiatrists and intelligent people that know how to trap the minds of people within cartoons and in movies. It's just that those who spend too much time watching them will become mentally programmed. The more you're a child and the mother threw that computer in front of you and she threw television in front of you, but your lifestyle that you had with your parents was nothing similar to TV and TV looks better, you're going to try to subconsciously try to get that lifestyle your entire life. This is why people want to become celebrities so bad. It's because they sat down and watched TV too much in their lifetime and they fell into the fantasies. It's the same with pleasing yourself. The more you please yourself, the more you see a woman in real life and you get you can't control your desires you don't know how you are when you're around them and you don't know how to talk to them because fantasizing a life and actually having the experiences are different you take the child that was not sitting inside the room and the child that was outside playing they're less likely to simp because they've taken on more realization of society which means that they've gained a lot more life experiences the more life experiences that you gain, the less you adapt to the programming of television. That's where that small percentage of men come in. The guys that are out here that the women are chasing, they're chasing the guys that are living in reality. They're chasing the guys that have accepted woman's nature that it's not a fairy tale. They know it doesn't work that way. The real men know, if I do not get
get out and work to become the best version of myself, I'm not going to have options of women because I spent a lot of time living the real world. When you live the real world, then you know, I got to work hard. I got to go to the gym. I have to do this. And that's what separates that man from the weakling. See, the weakling gets caught up in his emotions. The simp does and the complainer. Once you get caught up in their, your emotions in life, you're only going to do things that make you feel good. So if you don't feel like going to the gym and it makes you feel a certain way, you're not going to do it. If it doesn't feel good for you to chase your dreams, then you're not going to chase your dreams. You're just going to work a job that makes you feel good to go to. That's why a lot of these simps and complainers, they go to the same job and build families at their job. They build best friends at their job so they can make themselves comfortable going to work every day. When you're comfortable going to work every day, it's less likely you're going to grind to get away from that job, which means you're not going to elevate, which means you're going to stay stagnant, including your brain. Most of these dudes that are stuck staying stagnant are the ones who are mentally programmed through the televisions to be a simp but the guy who's not mentally stagnant is going to be the one that the women chase because he's disconnected from the programming next you haven't activated her subconscious mind what do i mean women already know if they walk in a room with a hundred guys in there at least 98 of them are going to look at her and the main thing that she's going to be looking for is the guy that's not looking for her because the guy that's not talking to her, the guy that's not sweating her, the guy that's not making eye contact, she feels is a high value man. She feels like his thought process is on something bigger than her. His thought process is gearing towards something great because all the other guys that, that try to get with her and be simp, they look weak to her because they look like they don't have a, they don't, because they look like they don't have a purpose in life. They don't have a purpose for meaning. So there's not gonna be deep composition with them. When they look at a man that's not paying attention to them and a man that's always doing his own thing and doesn't cater to her, to her, she's saying, to her, she's like, this is a high value man who has a lot of women and he has more important things to do. So what is her goal? I wanna find out what's the important thing going on in his life. That's what you have to understand with women. You don't peak her subconscious mind. You guys do too much talking when you get around a woman, when a man who has a goal and a vision don't do that much talking because he's too busy walking. That's what separates the rich from the poor. That's what separates the alphas from the betas. That's what separates the go-getters from the losers, is a man on a mission. There's not enough men on a mission. So a woman's not gonna chase a man whose mission is just to get sex. She knows you want sex. She knows you're not getting enough sex, which is why you're doing the most simping because the guys that get all the sex don't do the simping. So when you're a guy that's not giving her their attention all the time and you're not that available, she's automatically assuming other girls want him. Why do other girls want him? He must have something that other girls like. What do women naturally like? A sense of security and an alpha male, a man who can stand his own, a man who places his purpose above her. That's what a woman looks for. She's gonna automatically assume that the moment you're not showing availability in the moment you're not showing her attention. Why? Because women learn men faster than men learn women. They get enough practice. All they got to do is walk outside the house with makeup on. Here comes the guys. But a man, you have to become the best version of yourself in order for you to see your pick of the litter and to start studying women from there. If you're unable to be the guy that women are gravitating towards, you're not going to be able to learn women. I don't care what you recite online. I don't care what videos you make and you behind the video giving commentary. That means nothing. Most of the dudes online, the internet, 98% of y'all are beta. It's that simple. You're not out chasing your dream, doing none of that. Why? Because you don't have a purpose. You're just there to relinquish all of your power to her and to watch her go to another man that's not giving her power. You're soft. Next, you can't hold alpha frame. 
too many of you guys can talk the talk about being alpha, but then when you get in front of a woman, you start changing your entire tune. See, most of these guys out here, when a woman go to test you, you're going to fold. That's how come I don't do these panels because those panels are filled with women constantly testing men. Let's test his strength. Let's test his weaknesses. And one of the main things that they do to test your strength and weaknesses is have an attitude. They love to pick an attitude with you. They're going to love to pick a fight. But they're going to see if you're going to complain about the fight or, is, or if you're going to put your foot down and leave it. Too many guys put their foot down then the woman gets louder, she complain more, and you start adjusting. And then you start hoping that someone else help you out. So you want other people to get into the arguments. You wanna tell your business to other people so they side with you. A woman don't want you to do that. These women are gonna go for the guy that says what he has to say and leave it alone and then look at her and laugh. That's what they are gonna go for. They're gonna go for the guy that looks at them and say, man, please. Get out of here. You're a little kid. You're acting like a little girl. That's the guy that she wants. The guy that's going to complain is just the guy that's there to kill her, to kill time because she's bored. You got to realize the modern woman is living their life like they're trying to write a book after it. So you have to maintain alpha frame while she played a little kid game as a little girl. But as a man, you have to understand that she has multiple personalities and you have to understand that she is going to do that. The more you try to adjust to each one of her moves, the more you're going to be removed from alpha frame. Once you're removed from alpha frame and you're crying, complaining, y'all having arguments all the time, it's over. She don't chase men like that. When she know that you're that type of guy, she ain't gonna chase you. Why you think the average woman now, right? The first thing that they do is show you anger. The first thing they do is have an attitude. They may pick on you, they may hit you, but they're always showing masculine traits. And the reason for that is, it's because they need alpha frame in their life. Too many guys are folding to a woman's alpha frame which means that she's dominating you emotionally and she's dominating you psychologically at the beginning of the relationship. You guys are arguing and fighting with women as soon as you meet them. Why? Because they have never came across a guy who can maintain alpha frame and they continue to seek it. You have to understand this about a lion's pride. When a lion has a pride, he has a head hunter, which is going to be a female lioness. That female lioness, Every time that male comes back in from marking his territory, the female lioness tests him. She picks a fight with the king to see if he's strong enough to handle the rest of the pride. If the king cannot put the head hunter in check, all of the lioness will turn on the male lion and they all will kick him out of the pride. So you have to understand this. Female nature is going to always test male's nature to make sure that it's stronger than itself. A lot of these guys are too weak. There's pretty much no chance for you to win because every time she go to test you, you're going to say this. Oh, I'm scared. That could be harassment. They could get me on this. They could get me on that. Ain't nothing wrong with saying, man, shut up. Don't talk to me like that and leaving it the way it is. You guys act like you and her got to get in a fight and you beat her down and you're going to go to jail for it. That's what's wrong with you dudes. The Me Too movement has nothing to do with you standing your ground, but yet you make it a problem and you give it a reason for you being a simp. No, weak dudes do not survive, not even with other men. Strong men don't hang around weak dudes. They only use you to get whatever they want. The whole world is going to use you. So understand, if you cannot pass Alpha Frame, then you're not gonna pass her. In conclusion, the only way for a woman to respect you is for you to be busy doing something that you want to do and you have to protect it, which means that your goals and dreams comes before her. It comes before any interaction with her. Without a goal and a dream that you're dedicated to, it's going to be hard to maintain alpha frame. So you'll notice majority of the simps and the majority of the complainers don't have anything going on with their life. 
They just have a whole bunch of friends in their life that they sit around and complain to. A woman don't want that. We're living in a world now where you have to be psychologically ready and you have to be in survival mode. Those species who fail to adapt will go extinct. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.